How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 called Rosendahl and we're going to read the description from the mod hub and it says Do you want to work in unique shapes and steep fields? Drive up narrow twisting roads? Rosendahl is the map based on real life area where I live in West Norway. The Norwegian terrain is very interesting and challenging. You got the fjord on one side, mountains on the other, and a small farm with grasslands in the middle. This means you need powerful vehicles with work to land to work the land and small machines that fit the roads. Some part of the map are less steep, almost flat, and more open. So you can go big if you want to, compared to the two KM X 2km base game maps, a playable area is around 60% and 15% for the fjord. In real life, all the fields are grasslands, but I have added all standard crops to the fields. Areas with lots of buildings have been turned into cell points and production points. The area south of the main river is, function is fictional, inspired by real life area and a combination of other FS games or FS maps. There you can find the train which runs past the pig farm where you can sell all crops that are used for pig food. I have also added a big open square sh field which al is almost flat for those who like to for those who like that. Perfect for workers to work in without getting stuck or confused, or if you want to create vineyards, etc. Next to that field, there is a placeable area where you can easily can build other placeables that I haven't added to the map. This is my very first mod, so I have not created any other objects myself. I use base game buildings and prefed stuff. The map requires the fantastic Buildings in Norway mod installed to run. That is because Norwegian buildings come from that mod. Most of them have functions such as animals pastures for sheep and cows, storages, silos, workshops, and sleeping. Most of the functions will only work when the productions, buildings, or plots of land have been bought. In the real life area, I have tried to use the most similar buildings to the real life buildings. If you choose to start in new farmer mode, you start off owning the land and the farm I live on. It is plot number 10, which includes five fields, a house, a steep barn, a dog house, and three beehives. The buyable plots have been priced to suit the value of both the land and the function of the buildings that come with it. Since most of the buildings are sellable, the price, the sell price of them can be higher than what you had paid for the land, unfortunately. You can choose between buying big plots with both fields, forests, farms, and silos, or just buy forests, just fields, and cheap fields with trees. Some plots offer you storage, storages or workshops. To use the BGA, you will need to buy it. If you want to use the bunker silos, you will need to buy the land plot as well. On the map, you will find a main road, smaller public roads, and farm tracks, fjord and river where you can fill your water tankers, several farms with animal pastures, silos, and workshops, 55 plots of land, the whole map is plot 1 and is not viable. 84 fields with missions, both arable and grass. 4 mi uh, forestry plots and some other plots including forests. More than 10 cell points that take different products. Train which can be used to sell pig food crops. Several placeable production points and the placeable areas. And a placeable area. A BGA and bunker silos, sawmill area with water pond, 100 collectible cheese wedges around the map, 4 view towers located in some good spots, recommended mods, more animal husbandry is possible. I hope you enjoy the map. There are mods required for this map and it was the Buildings of, Nor uh, Buildings of Norway by Ola Holdor. Hola Holdor. 
This map was created by Olus9 and is 117.58 megabytes to download. So if we take a look at the map, this is what it looks like. Now, if you made it through the entirety of that mod hub description, you would have heard the kind of footnote to this map being way, way bigger than what's being presented here. So taking a look at it, you do start out with farmlands number 10, as you can see here, but scattered all over the map are hidden farms, animal barns, the whole nine yards. There's so much hiding right now. So what I'm going to do is go through the normal map tour up until I get past the starting farm and the starting equipment. So once I do that, I'm going to show you a before, the way the map looks now, and an after how the map looks after you purchase all of those farmlands and all the various plots. I'm only going to read what farmlands those plots are and what exists on those plots. I'm not going to go and tour every single farm, every single... It, it, this map tour would be hours long. Hours long. It's huge. Monstrously huge. So, as it said in the description, you cannot buy all of the plots or area on this map. We do start out with an animal pen, as you can see here, a sheep barn. There are contracts available, and you do have a production change, a chain, a grass silage uh, production. And there are collectibles on this map, the cheese wedges, and there are 100 of them around the map. Now, there are no mods specific to this map in the buy menu, but in the build menu, whoops, let's go back. In the build menu, if we take a look at the buildings tab, under sheds, there are quite a few Rosendahl here. Under, let's see, under silos, there are a couple of mods in here. Under silo extensions, nothing. Containers, you do have a fuel tank right there. Under tools, you do have couple more mods right here in the Rosendahl section. These buildings in Norway, these ones are not the ones that we're looking for, but rather these Rosendahls. Those are the mods specific to this map outside of the ones that were uh, required for downloading. Under the Productions tab, there are nothing under factories, nothing under selling points. There are greenhouses though, as you can see right here. Nothing under orchards and nothing under generators. Under animals, there's nothing listed for cows for Rosendahl, but under horses, you can see there, under pigs as well, nothing under sheep. Chickens, there is a Rosendahl, a couple of them. Uh, nothing under bees. Oh, no, I'm sorry, there are stuff under bees, which is honestly the first time I've ever seen that, is uh, a mod specific to a map where it's under the bees category and you have a new doghouse under others there are no mod specific to this map under the decorations under fences lights or others and there are only new painting textures in the landscaping tab there are no trees or plants to this map now we do start at the starting farm. We're just a little ways above it. So right over there, you can see the starting farm. So because we're there, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our starting equipment. If we're under the buy menu here and go under owned items, under small tractors, we have the New Holland T6 175 and a Massey Ferguson 5S 105. Medium tractors, the Fent 724. Harvester, we have the Russell Mash Nova 330. Trailers, the Crampy Half Pipe HP 20. The header for the Russell Mash. Under subsoilers, the Convernland DTX 300 AR. Cedars, the Nordseen HK 25 and S3030. Fertilizer spreaders, the Amazon ZATS 3200. Mowers, the Convernland 4140L. 
Tedders, the Pottinger Alpen Hit 4.4H. Wind Rowers, the Samaz Z2 840H. Forage Wagons, the Pottinger Boss Alpine 251. Front Loaders, the Quickie Q3M. Front Loader Tools, the Albert Pallet Fork and Universal Bucket. A Header Trailer, the Nardi N40B. And under weights, the Agco 650. So at this point, let's go ahead and run down to our starting farm right over here, and we'll take a look at what we have right here. Oops, jump there. Sleep trigger right here. Over here, we have our sheep barn right here for 200 sheep. Fuel uh, tank right there. Coming around over here. We have our grass silage production right here. So grass to silage. You put in and take out of it right here. And over here, you have your feed input for your sheep. So you're kind of simulating that you're dumping your grass or hay down into the chamber where the sheep reside. So now, what I'm going to do from here, take a look at the map. Like I said, this is what the map looks like when you first come in. No buying or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and cut away now to a screenshot I took earlier of all the farmlands and how it looks after you purchase everything that's available on this map. Okay, so from this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this screen open just like this so we have the farm lens view. And I'm going to read all the areas that are available to purchase where there's a trigger or a farmhouse, a cow barn, a sheep pasture, horse, whatever, where there's some kind of point of interest on there. So starting with farmland number two, you can purchase this for $645,360. And there is a farm, there are two farmhouses, a horses and cows on this plot. On farmland number four, this one you can purchase for $283,600. And there are two farmhouses and a cow barn. Farmland five is $196,919. And that has a farmhouse on it. Farmland 6 for 338,320. You can have a farmhouse and sheeps or sheep. Farmland 7 you can have for $161,340 and you can have a farmhouse. Farmland 8, 110,179. You can have two farmhouses. Farmland number nine, $424,000 even for three farmhouses, cows, and a hayloft. Farmland 11, you can have for $22,110, and this is a chicken, uh, chicken pasture, I believe. Uh, if not chicken pasture, then chicken barn or chicken coop. Farmland number 12, $140,320 is also chickens. Farmland number 15, 99, uh, $99,119. You can have four greenhouses there. Farmland number 17, 126400 You can have horses. Farmland 18, 76780 Farmhouse. Farmland 19, 52864 Another farmhouse. 22 for 70919 another farmhouse, 23, 260,232, you can have a farmhouse, cows, and horses, farmland number 24, 372,120, that is the biogas plant, farmland 25 is the, is 27,536, and that's a farmhouse, 20, I'm sorry, that was 25. 26 is 116,891, and that's horses. 27 is 62,848, 
and this one I wanted to confirm real quick. So farmland 27 is right here. So you can see there are, uh, yeah, so there is the sawmill, Rosendahl Harbor, biomass heating plant, and sawmill. But if you buy it for 62848 you can see a couple of additional items appear, these bale and pallet storage. So that kind of, that actually did confirm what I thought, but wasn't 100% certain about. Um, Farmland 29, let me zoom this back out real quick. So Farmland 29 is, where's my notes? Two farmhouses. Farmland 34 for 274,440 is two pig barns. Or I should say two pigs, sets of pigs. Farmland 35, 586,480 is a farmhouse and cows. You have Farmland 38 for 221,309, and that's a farmhouse. Farmland 40, 224,952, that's sheep. Farmland 42, 220,961. Farmhouse 43, $308,040. It's a farmhouse and hayloft. 44, $178,660. That's a farmhouse and cows. 45 is $80,639, and that's two farmhouses. 46 is $115,799, and that's two more farmhouses. 47 is 234,920 and that's sheep 48 is 80,928 and that is a farmhouse 49 is 114,816 and that's another farmhouse farmland 50 is 319,395 and that's two farmhouses 52 is 184,260 that's another farmhouse 53 is 113,860, and that's a farmhouse and sheep. 54 is 51,295, and that's a farmhouse. And 55, 138,940, and another farmhouse. Whew. Okay, that is everything. Now, let's go ahead and hop into this tractor here, fire this up. And we have a little bit of driving to do because I want to get out towards the east side of the map before we really kind of dive into all of our specific locations. And here, let's do... There we go. No. There we go. Want to get rid of the spire that was in the sky there. So we're just going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, we're going to keep following this out towards the east. Get out to the main road here. Oh dear, that's going to end badly. So now we can follow this. off the main road and kind of onto this little country lane and now you can start to see the point of interest I want to get to coming into view Okay, so now we pull in here, come in through the back entrance. Oh, 
All right, right here to my left is the Freya and Nidar chocolate. You can purchase this for 50,000. You have your inputs here and your outputs over here. Now we have to head all the way back into town from this location. So we'll start heading over there. And continuing down this direction, we're coming up on our next point of interest, which is now coming into view directly in front of me. All right, to my right is the grain mill. What I'll do is I'll pull in here and stop right here. Now, the grain mill, you purchase it right here for $96,000. You have your inputs here, and I believe your outputs spawn down here, but I've yet to see a spawn trigger with this specific mod, so I'm not 100% certain where the wheat spawns to, uh, to collect. I'm not, or the wheat, the uh, flour. I'm just not sure where it spawns to collect. So now, heading back across the river. Right here. To my left is the bales cell point. And in front of me, is the, and I'm gonna do a real terrible job on this name, the Bondi Companit? Bondi Companit. Yes. Cell point. Let's see, can I get in from here? Okay. Over in this corner is the Sinov Finden cheese production for 50,000 you can purchase this. Inputs here, outputs right there. Head back over here. Okay, right here we have the tailor shop for a hundred thousand you can purchase this. You have your inputs here, a wardrobe trigger here, and outputs right back here. And then over here you have a bale and pallet storage uh, space right here. So if you're familiar with the new pallets and storage that Giants just recently released. This is it. So now we're going to come down here. Make a right back on this kind of side road. Oh, you know what? That just occurred to me. I need to go back and purchase this because I just want to make sure there's no additional no additional uh, crops or anything that it takes that I'm not aware of. Don't want to run that risk. Okay. So purchase that. I've already listed what I was purchased for. 372,120. And I think I messed up because you actually got to purchase. Oh no, that's right. You can purchase this land. So standard uh, inputs, nothing uh, out of the ordinary there. You have your solid inputs here, liquid inputs here, 
liquid outputs here, aka digestate. Now we'll run back to the tractor and continue the tour. All right, continuing to head in a west-ish direction. Ooh. Make a right. All right, this is the sugar mill. You can purchase this for $80,000. You have your inputs in the back and outputs right here. We'll actually be able to see the inputs once we drive past it. Right there. Right next to it is the dairy. For 70000 you can purchase this. And we'll see the inputs and outputs in the back as we drive by. Outputs there, inputs in the corner. And then right here is the oil mill. Now for this one... Inputs and outputs are right back here. And 80,000 will purchase the oil mill. Now we will continue heading up to the north. And see something else that's attached to our farm right at the very, very beginning, which is nice. Open this gate here. Okay. Now coming up in this area, you can see coming into view three beehives right here. And then over here, we have the honey spawn point right there. And now we will head back to kind of the main strip that we've been driving on. And continue to head towards the west. Making a right there, we're going to head past the f entrance to the farm here, right over there, and then we're going to drive right alongside the church here, and start heading up the mountain. We are going to take some of the windy, twisty roads, as the description said. And continuing to climb, continuing to climb. All right, now to my left, and in here, this is the, again, going to probably pronounce this bad, Bjork cell point. Oops. And seeing that I just opened this up, might as well go ahead and take a look at the map, see where we've been and what we've seen. So we started kind of up here on this little trail. We ran down to our starting farm, we checked everything out there. We then came out to the main, well, main-ish side road here. Came all the way down to the main road until it dropped us off on this kind of side road to get all the way out here to the chocolate production. We then backtracked to the grain mill, came up here and took in the bale sales as well as the Bande Compet 
Kopenite. Kopenite. Yes. Uh, sell point. Then came up to here where we saw the uh, Sano fin Finden cheese. As well as the spinnery. Wait, did we see the spinnery? I don't think I showed that. I'm going to go to it. Just make sure. Spinnery is in this same kind of area here. 60,000, you can purchase that. Inputs here, outputs there. And as you can see, there's a tailor shop right there. This kind of good little point of reference. So now let's go back to up to here. Okay, so I took in all this over here, then came up to here. We saw the sugar mill, the dairy, and the oil mill. We then came up to here. We took in all of our bees, then came back to the main strip here, past our farm, up and around to the Bjork. Bjork? I think that's Bjork. Uh, cell point. And that kind of catches us up where we've been. And what I'm going to do now head back where we came because now I have to get down to the main road like the actual main road all right Now heading back to the main road here. I'm going to make a right, continue heading west. We're going to keep going until we get to this next intersection here. Right here, make a left. And a right. right here is this low two track and if you follow this down around you can get right into this area now this is the Sinbrica bakery you can purchase this for fifty thousand dollars and you have your inputs here and I'm going to presume outputs are either at the side or in the back. Um, so I'm just not seeing a out trigger anywhere around here. And then back here you have the, oh, again, going to be bad. Fellas, Fellas, Kyopet, sell point. now head back out and up the hill let's see Can we keep heading in this direction I just need to scroll down to my notes whoops let's not drive off the road Continuing. Oh, and now it's all starting to come into view. All right, to my left, just around the backside here, is the restaurant cell point. To my right is the Joker cell point. And then in here, you have your shop trigger right there. You do have access to this uh, 
front, uh, not front end loader, what is that? My brain is just not working today. Forklift, that's the word I'm looking for. Repair trigger, right there. Gas station, right there. Let's see. Oops, I'm completely skipping over. Here we go. Alright, so right here is the sawmill. $100,000. We'll purchase that. And we're going to leave that truck there. You have one of your bale and pallet storage right here. This is where you purchase this area, and those will pop up. Uh, over here is the Rosendale Harbor cell point. Then here, the biomass heating plant with wood cell trigger. Over here, you have your sawmill wood chips output right here. Another pallet and bale storage. This is the carpentry. You can purchase this for 60000 You have your inputs here, your wood cell trigger here, and your output there. And then over here... You have your debris crusher right there. And back here... You have your lime station. And let's see. Okay. Coming back over here, directly in front of me is the cereal factory. Here for 110,000, you can purchase that. Outputs there, inputs here. You have your supermarket sell point right up on top of this little hill here. In the back here, you have the pizzeria sell point. Over here, you have your fast food restaurant sell point right back here. And over here, your farmer's market sell point. So quite a bit of sell points to go through. So now we'll go pick up our tractor. Oh, you know what? I didn't uh, cover where the ins and outs for the sawmill are. Uh, so wood in right there, wood sell trigger right there, and outputs are do, 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 where are the outputs huh I don't see the outputs that's weird weird yeah don't see where the output is okay heading in this oh this direction now we'll continue to follow this down and around until we get down to this kind of southern part of the map just down here and here we want to make a left until we get right here now, let's go ahead and take a look at the map, see where we've been. So we were here at the Bjork, we then came back down and around to the kind of main road here, down to here, and we took in the Sandbreka Bakery, as well as the Fulls Jopent, yes, cell point. Over here, we came to the Joker cell point, as well as the restaurant cell point. The 
shop trigger and repair triggers are right there. You have your gas station just there. You have your sawmill, your Rosend uh, Rosendell Harbor, your biomass heating plant. Uh, over here we have a couple of, yep, all those are pallet and storage. We have the carpentry over here, the debris crusher, and lime station. We then came back out to here where we saw the cereal factory, supermarket, pizzeria, uh, fast food restaurant, and farmer's market. Now we're all the way down here at the animal dealer. If I go to this, you can purchase your animals directly from here if you have a pen that's active and loaded onto the map. Uh, if you do purchase from this location, though, you are charged a delivery fee. So as you can see, for our adult sheep, quite a bit of money, $3,000 for every 60 sheep. So, yeah, you're, you're going to add that up pretty quick. You can purchase animals from the pens and pastures as well, but again, you're having a delivery fee associated to it because you're basically simulating them delivering the animals to your pens and pastures. To save that money, you can purchase or lease a animal trailer and do the loading into it from this location. Once you load into it, you drive it down to your pen or pasture, wherever it may be on the map, and then load from your trailer into that pen or pasture. And that way you can save on the money that is going to be required to have them do the work your, their, their cells. So from here, we kind of need to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take in a sky view because there's a couple of points of interest. Well, you know what? No, no, we're not because it's right over here. I was going to do a sky view, but I decided against it. So the train's actually driving over the part of interest uh, that I'm looking for. So first, rent train trigger right here. And right here, you have the... Mal Malmanger Pig Farm cell point. So this is the only cell point for this track. So you load into it all the way over there and we're going to teleport over there because there's no sense in hopping back into the tractor just to drive over here. But you load into the train using the silo system over in that direction and then you can drop it off here after making your loop around. And this is the train system you have your inputs here outputs here and for your train inputs and outputs are done right here and that is it that is rosendell now we're to the point of rendering my opinion what do i think of this standard zero to five scale as always i am kind of mixed on this one i like how it looks it's got beautiful undulations it's very nicely put together the problem is the sheer number of areas that can be bought in my opinion not so much the number that's the issue it's that all the stuff that's hidden behind the scenes in all these various farmlands all these farmlands have well, I shouldn't say all, but almost all of the farmlands have either pens, pastures, farmhouses, productions, all this stuff that is just sitting there taking up space and you need tons and tons and tons of money in order to afford to be able to get everything. I mean, at the end of the day, I read off everything I was able to find and trying to add up trying to add up the seven point zero seven million to buy all the farms necessary to have all the stuff and be able to either take it off or use it from this map it's yeah that that's a ridiculous amount of money needed to be able to purchase all that land i mean it, it makes sense that it would be that expensive it's just there's so much stuff that's hiding on you and now if i go to 
what is it? Uh, we'll, we'll just go here. Almost 2,000 slots are used as of this moment in time right now. That's no additions by me or anything like that. 2,000 slots. Almost half of your slots are used up, and a lot of them are because of mods and buildings that are just placed on the map. So it's one of those that... I appreciate the map. It's very, very well put together. It's a very, very lovely map. Um, just the way it's all set up. But all the farmhouses, all the farmlands, like, it's a bit overwhelming and a bit much. Um, especially when you come on here and you're like, oh man, I really want to work with cows. Let me figure out which one of these, you know, 50 odd farmlands are going to help me with that. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of what's sticking to me when it comes to this map. So, in the end, I'd give this, uh, I don't know, probably middle of the road, a three. Um, yeah, that's just how I feel about it. But, I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.